I'll be at New York Drag Con. Come find me in my booth. I don't know what number it is yet, but you will come, honey. Miss Vanji. Lady of the evening, are you ready for? Can we have a drum roll, please? <laughs> Peaches Christ! <laughs> Underground drag performer, MC, filmmaker, actor, evil mastermind, auteur of drag. Exciting. This cult leader made a film called Jizz Mopper. Am I correct? <laughs> That's correct, yes. What the hell was that about? It's about a man who works in a porno shop, a shop and he's the custodian there. And um, yeah, he mops up jizz for a living. <laughs> that, that was my first film. Peaches, what's the casting process of this? Do people come to your door, your Chesterfield, your couch? How do you, do you just go to them? Uh, well, I am um, usually looking uh, for people that inspire me. There's a great queen who you may have heard of named Lady Bear, uh, who started performing in San Francisco and I would watch her and I'd be like, I love Lady Bear, like what, what could I create for Lady Bear? And so I, I, I tend to love the queen first and then kind of want to work with them and am and, and inspired by them and then kind of think of an idea. <laughs> Chad, what have you done differently to prepare for this t particular kind of show as opposed to your, your share shows? Well, uh, The Witches of East Bay was a major departure for me. So, <laughs> um, right. yeah, it was a real stretch, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now, I don't know. I just, I grabbed it by the balls. I mean, for me, yeah. Thanks. Help the, help You got to manhandle it. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, you got a firm grip, sweetie. Uh, <laughs> no, you know what? I was just so excited about it. I don't know what I did. To, I watched the movie a couple times just to brush up on it. But I mean, for me, I was so excited to work with Peaches. You know, he's legendary, and and I just have total trust in him. So I just kind of I put my my faith in him and just let it happen, and 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 just put the work in. Yeah, we we went, I I learned my lines. That's really what I did. I learned my. How'd you do, darling, sweetie? No, um, but yeah, just learn the lines and, and go to have fun, really. We had a blast. Can and I say something about that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Chad and Coco showed up in San Francisco, and the Witches of East Bay uh, was what it was called there, and then it was the Witches of East Village in New York. But in San Francisco, <laughs> we're a lot more <laughs> bohemian and kind of loosey-goosey. Right. And so, like, myself and Peggy Legs and the other performers were kind of reading the script for the first time at our first <laughs> rehearsal, and Coco Peru and Chad Michaels were off book. And I remember <laughs> looking at Peggy, and I was like, we're f***ed, you know, like... <laughs> And it was so intimidating that they were like right. so much more prepared than us, you know, and well, that was amazing. But that in itself is one of the most fun things about a Peaches Christ production is because, <laughs> is because um, the standard of excellence fluctuates <laughs> <laughs> from the performer to performer. Yeah. I but would like to point out <laughs> that while Peaches was talking about people uh, knowing their lines, Jinx was giving me a death <laughs> I just happened to glance over. For it was a unrelated. Long time. <laughs> no, it, it's like this. Um, the best thing about doing drag parody is that, like, kind of everything is part of it. Everything that happens from the moment you, the audience, walks into the theater to the moment that we're taking our bows is a part of the experience. That means every mistake, because let's face it, like, drag queens have grandiose views of what's going to happen when they put on their drag show. They work for months and months and months to put on their 13-minute Wicked mashup. That they <laughs> and when I go like this, the broom is going to lower from the ceiling into my hand. And then what happens the night of is like everything goes wrong and the true queens stick it out and find a way to make it entertaining even though everything's falling apart. Yeah. And I have never once been in a Peaches Christ production where something hasn't gone wrong and someone has not excelled from that mistake. Like, someone turns that mistake into comedy gold that the audience is then tweeting about for the next right. three weeks. Well, and I'm like, retweet, retweet, retweet. <laughs> now, Coco, you're a trained uh, professional. Well, I actually 
went to see you guys in the Grey Garden show and went up to Peaches and said, you know, I'd love to be in one of your shows. So, because I've been doing my own shows for 27 years and it's kind of lonely in a way. And I thought, <laughs> <laughs> Longer than you've been alive, is that what you're trying to say? You know, I, was, um, anyway. I was two when you started. Uh, two, okay. <laughs> <laughs> She but was all, three. But already a cunt at two. <laughs> but, um, uh, there was a toilet scene, Ben, that you wanted to take out of one of the shows <laughs> that was left in. How did you negotiate keeping it in? That's Keeping it in. Show. You were, uh, is, that, is that not right? Yeah, no, that is absolutely that right. I forgot that I was, so uh, I was in uh, five to nine inches right. uh, as well. What's that? Nine to five inches. <laughs> Sorry, the nuance of these puns can be overwhelming. <laughs> um, but I, uh, yeah, so I got to play just when it came through Seattle and Portland, I was the Roz character. Right. And, uh, and Peaches had written in this very extended scene. There's a scene when Roz is in the uh, bathroom stall and she's like listening in to the, the plot. And um, so Peaches had written in a scene where I basically had diarrhea for like seven minutes. Um, and it we was- We needed a costume change. Yeah, no sh That's what was happening. <laughs> And what better way to fill out that time right. <laughs> than with extended splattery fart noises. But you didn't, you didn't want to keep it in, though. Well, I thought I had standards, but <laughs> I, at that point, had, had a couple of shows with Peaches, and I've learned otherwise. And... Um, <laughs> And so, uh, yeah, no, but that, that's, it's the same thing Coco was saying. I'm, I am actually a total control freak when it comes to my own shows. Um, so it's actually, it's that thing where you're yeah. just like, all right, I'm just going to be in Peach's vision. And if her vision includes explosive diarrhea, so be it. <laughs> uh, so has anything happened on stage with the four of you uh, during one of Peach's shows? Your costume, improv lines, bande de la creme. Well. Yep. <laughs> During the um, the very the, the, the uh, coven hocus po whatever it was called, um, there was like my that was my first show with Peaches and I was super duper nervous and it was I had this and I played the Mary surprise surprise everybody fought over it guess who lost um, and uh, so uh, but I had this one big number Peaches was like you're gonna have this big moment and during the very first show I was so nervous. And my wig just fully, it was, you know, it was that Mary like tower. And um, it was so heavy. And it became unpinned during the scene. I was slowly riding back. So I had to do this entire number that they'd choreographed this big dance to. And Jinx ran over, stood behind me, and held my wig on <laughs> during the whole song. And it was incredible. Jinx Monsoon! You have um, so many to choose from. <laughs> uh, Peaches and I have been doing Return to Great Gardens um, for five years now, um, basically like since my season of Drag Race. And the whole show is about how we do this Great Gardens parody show so many years that it becomes our real life. And now it's actually just happening. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, we have this one scene where not, we're both we both have all the lines in the scene for like two pages, but we're not talking to each other at all. We're just kind of talking vaguely about each other and non sequitur, like nothing connects because if you've seen Great Gardens, you know? <laughs> like, so it's like we just ramble off these lines that have nothing to do with each other and we always get lost in this scene. <laughs> and we always at one point realize we're repeating ourselves and then we look at each other and then Peach is always in character goes, well Jinx, I think it's your line. I don't know. And she stays so in character that the audience agrees with her. Like, oh Jinx is <laughs> up right now, <laughs> you know. Like, and then that's when I start to break, and I'm like, no, mother darling, I'm pretty sure it's your line. And then the whole scene becomes about whose line it is. Chad Michaels, all-star. Oh, God, I was perfect, aside from the one line. So I don't know. <laughs> she was, actually. I was pretty good. But you know, the thing about it is, is the more that you screw up, the more lines you screw up, the more the audience just gets into it. Like, the audience in San Francisco right. is so sadistic that they just love it. <laughs> And yeah, so it's like, it just goes to the old phrase, everyone loves a train wreck. So we do what we can. Ladies, I'm gonna 
give you a chance to book some more work. Why don't you tell me the best thing about being in a Peaches Christ production? The and, best thing? Yeah. Oh, God, you don't know whether he's going to hug you or thrill kill you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know what? I just, I, he, he's such a legend, and yeah. I just, I trust Peaches so much that it's just like you just take a leap of faith. And, and I just, like I said, I, it, for me, it was a departure. I don't do a lot of like live work and plays and stuff, and I just thoroughly enjoyed it, and I hope that we can do it again soon. Oh, I really that's do. that's so yeah. sweet. I Jinx. know, it's so sweet. What's the best thing about being in a continued Peaches production? Um, living out your childhood drag queen fantasies sure. live on stage with full production value. <laughs> right. Coco? For me, being in a Peaches Christ production is a total uh, departure from my everyday life. It, it, I value it so much. I absolutely love Peaches Christ. And I feel like she is doing a service to our community at large. Yes. And the love that is generated, not just from the audience, but backstage from her entire crew and the people she brings into her circle, it is a, it really is healing, not just for the audience, but I feel like it, 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 on some level, it's really healing for me. It's, it's, ama it's an amazing experience. That's beautiful. Ben de la Crème. Yeah, I, um, I think similarly to Coco, it's when you're on the road all the time and you're, you know, you're sort of by yourself, it's incredible to get to come back over and over again to a group of people that she has assembled that are also skilled that has become a family and there's this familial uh, element and you, it's, it's like coming home for like a couple weeks every time. And so. Ladies and gentlemen, can we give them a round of applause? This was truly Chad Michaels, Jinx Monsoon, Coco, Ben de la Creme, Peaches Christ, find them in line.